Hello everyone, welcome to our channel, A Small Terry Boy. So our topic uh, today will be all about distance and displacement. So this is week one of your self-learning home task. So the objectives are the following. First is to differentiate distance and displacement. Second is to compute the distance traveled by the object and its displacement. And third, perform assigned tasks with compassion and understanding. Alright, so let's start with defining what is or let's differentiate uh, distance from displacement. So when you say distance, it is a scalar quantity. So when you say scalar quantity, it has only the magnitude. It is not aware of the direction. So basically, it refers to how much ground an object has covered during its motion. Whereas, for displacement, it is a vector quantity. So when you say vector quantity, besides having the magnitude, it is also direction aware. It refers to how far out of place an object is. It is the object's overall change in position. So, to let you understand further, let's have this example. So, we have here, this is the starting point of the physics teacher. So, the physics teacher walks 4 meters east. So, the, the diagram would, be, would look like this. Then, 2 meters south. So, this one. Then, 4 meters west. So, the diagram will be like this. And finally, 2 meters north. Okay, so basically, in the diagram, bumalik siya sa kanyang starting point. Okay, so solving for its distance, so all you have to do is you're going to add the magnitude. So 4 plus 2, that's 6 meters, plus 4 meters, that's 10 meters, plus 2 meters, that's 12 meters. So basically, ang total distance ni physics teacher is 12 meters. But, when you say her displacement, so if you are going to do it mathematically, so you are going to consider the direction kung saan siya pumunta. So kapag to the east or going right, that's positive. Going down or to the south, that's negative. Then going to the left or to the west, that's negative. And going up or going north, that's positive. So we are going to consider that. So if you're going to have it in a mathematical manner, let's do it like this. Okay, let's solve for the displacement. So we're going to do it the, from from the starting point, the physics teacher walks 4 meters east. So that's positive 4. So 4 meters. Then, 2 meters south. So that's... Okay, let's just have... Okay, since it's going down, that's minus 2 meters. Then, 4 meters uh, west. So another minus 4 meters. Then, finally, 2 meters south. So that's plus... 2 meters okay so final answer is okay all you have to do is you recall the rules in math in subtracting of integers so when you subtract integers uh, all you have to do is you change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to addition this time follow the rule in adding integers. So, 4 meters minus 2 meters. So, you're going to have okay, 2 meters. Minus 4 meters you'll have negative 2 meters plus 2 meters. So, basically, the answer is 0 meter. So, nakita niyo naman sa diagram. Bu bumalik siya sa kanyang starting point. So, basically, walang displacement. Okay, kapag bumalik kasi sa tayo sa starting point, walang displacement na nangyayari. So, 0 meters. So, 
that's the displacement of the physics teacher. I hope na na hindi kayo na confuse sa concept na ito. Balikan nyo lang itong video kapag gusto nyo uh, kapag gusto nyo i-review or i-analyze ulit. Okay, so let's have this another concept. Okay? Dito ang starting point. Nandito kasi ang A. So, nag-bike siya. Pumunta siya sa pumunta siya sa kanyang house. So, 4 meters yung distance. Then, another 3 meters to another point. So, another tree. So, then, bumalik siya 5 meters sa kanyang starting point. So, basically, yung distance traveled ni person is equal to 12 meters. Okay? That's the distance. All you have to do is you add the magnitude in the given problem. Add the numbers in the given problem. The path traveled. Now, let's understand the concept of displacement. Okay? In here, the person moves from point A to point B. Then, the object's position changes. So, okay, basically, ang displacement niya dito, let's try to solve for its displacement. Mag-insert lang tayo dito ng text box. Okay. Ito lang gawin natin. So, from point A, the travel siya pa north to point B. So, that's 3 meters. Plus, okay, from point B to point C, towards to the right. So, that's positive, 5 meters. Then, the go down siya or to the south. So, that's minus 3 meters. Then, the turn to the left siya or to the west. That's minus 5 meters. Okay? So, Bumalik siya sa kanyang starting point. So, let's try to solve the answer. So, 3 plus 5, that's 8 minus 3. That's 5 minus 5, 0 meters. So, very, um, ano naman siya. Kasi nga, kapag bumalik talaga tayo sa ating starting point, wala tayong displacement na. Hindi tayo nag-move from our original point or starting point. So, that's zero displacement. Okay. So, basically, maybe I am going to write here lang the ano, kung kailan tayo mag positive sign, kailan tayo mag negative sign. Insert ulit tayo ng text box. Okay. Mag draw lang tayo dito sa I hope makikita pa ito. Para hindi na siya makikita. Ah, makikita pa pala. Okay. So, i-write ko lang dito. Positive ang ating gagamitin. Okay? Positive kung going to the east or shall we say to the right. Then, going also north or up. Okay. Upward. Lagyan na natin upward. To rightward. Okay. Then, gagamit tayo ng negative kapag going west. Okay. Gagamit tayo ng negative kapag going west. Shall we say leftward? to the left, then going south, or shall we say downward. So, para hindi kayo makalimot nito. Okay? So, yan ang gagamitin ninyo kapag nag-solve na kayo ng displacement. Positive kapag going east or rightward, yung direction ng object or going north or upward, then negative ang gagamitin ninyo kapag 
west or leftward ang direction ng object, then south or downward. Okay? Hayop, hindi na kayo mahihirapan ito. Alright. So, basically, to sum it up, distance will uh, or basically refers to the entire length. Okay? Or the length of the entire path that the object traveled. Then, for displacement, it just refers to the shortest distance between the point of origin and the point of destination. No matter what path it took to get to that destination. So, kaya kapag bumalik yung object sa kanyang pinanggalingan, ang displacement niya ay zero. So, I hope na... Okay, in this topic as well, meron tayong idea, okay, regarding reference frame, no? So, itong reference frame ay basically yung point na in yung, uh, basically, basically yung point na, so basically yung frame of reference, so, it's just um, refers to that all measurement of motion is compared to that. So, for example, you are moving at the back of the truck. So, your frame of reference is the truck. Like that. So, let's try to answer the exercises here. So, you are going to use the diagram to determine the resulting displacement and the distance traveled by the skier during this three minutes so distance from a to b is equal to 180 minutes so a to b 180 meters naman? 180 meters so 40 plus 100 that's 140 plus 40 that that's why it's 180 meters okay so all you have to do is you add the distance between the, the points so from a to c here that's 40 from c to b 100 from d to b that's another 40 that uh, adds to 180 that yes the total if you add the 40 plus 100 140 plus 40 that's 180 okay so you're asked distance from B to C okay what is the distance from B to C so from B to C so basically yung distance na is from B to C, that's 40 plus 100. So, that's basically 140 meters. Okay? 140 meters ang answer dyan. Distance tra traveled from C to D. From C to D. So, basically, that is just equal to 100 meters. Then, total distance. So, the total distance, therefore, is from A to B, that's 180, okay? 180 plus dito, from B to C. 180 plus 140, let's just add, from A to B, that's 180. Okay, B to C, that's 40 plus 100, that's 140. Then, C to D, that's another 100 meters. Okay, so basically, ang total distance na is 180 plus 140, 220 plus 100, that's basically equal to 320 meters. Ang, displace, ang displacement is, let's just try to solve this. So, basically, ang displacement is from A to B to the left, uh, not to the right. From A to B, that's positive 180. Okay. Then, from B to C, nag, uh, go to the east or uh, to the west. So, that's negative 140 okay so that's minus 140 bakit naging 140 ma'am 40 at 100 kasi yan so negative 140 
So that's from B to C. Then C to D, this 